So we are on a cargo ship about the same size as the Dolly, but we are navigating San Francisco Harbor in this case. Uh, this is all a simulation, but we have a real captain, Captain Morgan McManus, who is uh, going to walk us through possibly what could have happened in a total blackout situation, as you call it, aboard the Dolly. Yes, so we have the, uh, the a cadet simulating the mate on watch. We have another cadet on the helm. Uh, Go left 15, please. And, and the dolly would have lost both propulsion and steering? At a full blackout, they would have lost everything. Full blackout, yes. you call it. Right. So we could run the blackout right now from the control room. So there we go. Alarms will start going off so on the start bridge. Getting alarms. Start getting alarms. The mate on watch is going to try to figure out what the alarm is. The engine room is now calling to tell us what's going on. Bridge, mate on watch. And in this situation where you can see the pylon coming and you know it is disaster, can you can you drop the anchor? What are what are the you guys train for these scenarios? Right. We're gonna you're gonna try to do everything you can to stop from hitting it, whether it's running the engine full astern to take the speed off. We've already come down to almost stopped in the water now. Um, and then you would be letting the anchors out. If we couldn't get the speed off the vessel, you can lower both anchors down and have them drag or kedge along the bottom to create resistance to slow the ship down. But for that to work, you need time and you need distance. The captain's going to be dealing with the engine room and, and getting on the phone and figuring out what's so, going on. So, that, so they would be so going that over, would, grab engine it. Room right. Would be the, I, I think that's where the real chaos is. That's would where be. the real chaos is. So now if they call back and say we have power, the first thing we're going to do is then go emergency full astern to try to stop because it happening. looks like they do establish power just right. before they hit the pylon yes. before they hit the bridge. The billow of smoke comes out. They start trying to go astern, get the speed off. This must have been high anxiety at this point on the bridge trying to deal with this. Oh, and incredibly stressful. Watching that first video clip, when I saw the total power go out on the ship, I, I knew there was a major problem going on. So one other thing we wanted to show you was what it would look like at night. We shot the simulation during the day so we could see everything, but this is much more what it would have looked like for the Dolly in Baltimore Harbor. It complicates things at night, I take it. It does. You have, um, you, you need the bridge dark so you could see the lights outside, but you also have ambient light from the skyline or the terminal coming in. It also, uh, in darkness, you lose some depth perception, which makes it a little challenging to actually judge your distances as well. So it, and it complicates moving around the bridge at night. And this is, you teach at State University, New York, Maritime College. I take it what happened in Baltimore Harbor will be studied for decades. It will. It'll become one of those tragic accidents that we take lessons learned from and then we apply them to what we're teaching the students of what to do in an emergency on the bridge of a ship.